Hey there, and welcome to another collaboration with myself and the wonderful Leslie Logan of Profitable Pilates. Today we're going to look at, and actually for a little while we're going to have uh, a month-long event on the swan. <laughs> Don't run away screaming just yet. <laughs> Today we're going to look at swan on the mat. And swan on the mat is among one of the nicer versions of the swan, I would say. Swan on the mat and swan on the Cadillac with the push-through bar, those are kind of the nicest that swan gets. So today we're going to look at swan on the mat and just how to start and some pitfalls and some strategies. So um, let's take a look at what we're looking at. I've got a Graz mat and I've got some handles and I'll also be talking about if you just have a regular flat mat on the floor like a rubber yoga mat and what to do if you don't have any apparatus handles to do the swan. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to lie on my stomach and one of the hardest things about the swan is finding length in the back in an extended arched position. And so I kind of feel like that's sort of what we are looking to find and perfect in our swan exercise. So I'm going to take my hands to the handles and I'm going to line myself up so that my shoulders are right in line with the edge of the mat. And that puts my hand kind of right in line with my shoulder as well. And later when we use just a plain mat on the floor, we're going to look at the same orientation of the hand and shoulder, even though you don't have the handles. So you want to make sure that your swan is not a push up with your arms. That is not a back extension. You want to really use the whole trunk of your body to make a nice even arch in the swan. So I'm going to pull my stomach in. I'm going to reach my toes way behind me. And I'm just going to start to lift myself up to the swan without doing any sort of pushing or lifting with my hands or arms. And then think that your waistline is connected to your hands and your waistline is going to lift you up, which straightens your arms. And then you're going to come all the way back down again. And in general, you're looking to have more length than height, shall we say. So it's more important that you come up a little bit, maybe, with lengthening versus pushing back and arching the low back extremely. And I always say beware of the exercises there are only three of. <laughs> they're usually a doozy of an exercise. So swan falls into that category. So one more time. And then you would sit back and take a counter stretch. And I like a good counter stretch after that one. So let's talk about some pitfalls. So one pitfall is that people just push up with their arms. Their hand is connected to their shoulder instead of their arm being connected into their whole trunk of their body. So the swan is not a push up. And for a while, people may just come up as much as they're able to generate the lift with their center, and that's perfectly fine. So at first, they'll just come up as much as they're able to do kind of, you know, honestly, shall we say? So they might get to here and come down. And then over time, they'll come up, they'll learn to come up more. So how to go about finding length in the back in the swan exercise? I find that to be very challenging. I feel like I'm a little bit on the road to finding length in the back, but I'm not quite there yet. But one thing that Joe Pilates builds into his work, I feel is worth mentioning because it actually comes into play in every exercise where you're going to be on your stomach. Swimming, pull straps and tea, anything where you need to find length in the back. And that is all of the exercises where you get to know what your back is like on the mat. So that you have this big mat behind you to give you feedback so that you can use your muscles and tangibly feel that your back is lengthening on the mat. And then you can kind of keep those muscles working and find what gives you length in the back. And then when you're on your stomach, try to recreate it. So you do everything you did when your back was on the mat 
and then you try not to disturb that when you come up to your swan. Yeah, that feels way better. How amazing. <laughs> and it's really like magic. And Joe kind of builds it in to his method to give us support to find the shape and then to try to keep the shape as we do other things in our backs. So after you could come up, learn to come up three times and that's going well, then you would start looking at swan dive. And actually, swan dive is going to be in another week's video and we're going to talk about all the places you can do the swan dive the mat, the spine corrector, the wonder chair, and we'll have a whole uh, tutorial just on the swan dive. There's one other thing I wanted to talk about, and that is what to do if you are on a mat that does not have handles and is not off the floor. And I'm just going to approximate what that would be like. So if I were on a regular mat without any handles, it still would be about as wide as the mat I'm on. And I would suggest orienting your hand your hands just as though you did have handles. So I'm going to put them kind of in the same orientation of being in line with my shoulder so that basically the body can go forward with length. Yeah. And the arm can kind of almost feel like, you know, it's helping you like drag yourself forward, if you will. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and become a subscriber if you'd like to see more videos like this. Stay tuned all month long for collaborations with Leslie Logan. I will include the link to her swan videos in the description box below. And if there are any questions you have, something I mentioned or didn't mention about the swan, just leave me a comment and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Need to sit up, you can, but now we're going to go to the single leg pull. Five sets. One and one. Curl up, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and five. Both legs in, and then double leg pull. I see what they mean by this way being harder.